Hey, what's up everybody? Rob Marzullo here, Ram Studio Comics. Welcome back. And today's video is going to be on creating a superhero. Obviously, we've done a lot of different superhero stuff on this channel. Uh, if you search through my videos, you can find lots of different references to that. But this one is a little more of a, of a new breed of what we're going to do. Um, we're actually going to create this, this character uh, together. So what I mean by that is I'm going to start drawing a typical superhero pose, just something basic. And what I want you guys to do, this will obviously be a multiple part series or I, uh, a few videos to complete the series. And what I need you guys to do is chime in in the comments section below and let me know what we're going to have here on our character. You know, is this character going to be uh, a masked crusader? Is he going to be a uh, you know, somebody with awesome, amazing powers or somebody with, uh, cool gadgetry, you know, does he use, uh, firearms? Does he, is, is he himself the firearm? You know, all these different things we have to address to develop a character. So I think this is going to be a fun way to show you guys, uh, how to create a character, but also an interactive way to make you part of the process to see, you know, how it would really take place in uh, creating with a team. You know, a big part of what you don't get to see here on YouTube um, is how people collaborate and work on a project together. So you'll see one artist and their specific uh, views on what they do to create something, and, you know, which is great. You learn a lot from that process. Obviously, we all do. Uh, but the part that you're missing is is a very integral part, and that's the way that a group of artists have to work together, uh, whether or not it be a group of artists or an editor or uh, a, an art director. You know, you have all these things that come into play when you work uh, on a project and everybody has their little piece of the pie and their say-so. And and as the artist, you're kind of the uh, little bit of the director, but the, the guy that composites all this information and makes it into, you know, a superhero, a character, a book series, whatever you're doing. So we're going to try to address that by saying, okay, what are your guys' views? What do you think would be cool for this character? And then I'll, uh, I'll piece it together and make the artwork and we'll, we'll transform this character. Now this might be something too that we continue to do. If this ends up working out well and it's fun for everybody and everybody gets something out of it, uh, you know, we'll do other characters. So um, just keep in mind that, you know, obviously for uh, reasons of... Um, copyright or whatever I wouldn't really say copyright but uh, this character will belong to Ramp Studios or myself because I'll be collaborating the uh, efforts together or piecing it together I don't know that this will get used for any type of thing <clears throat> but I just want to make sure that's understood because you know obviously I couldn't uh, somehow make it a, a uh, something that we all own I guess so I just want to get that little bit of a disclaimer out of the way sorry if that uh seems uh greedy or something i don't know i just i have a tough time saying it. i'm gonna this is gonna be my character when we're done uh but i really couldn't do it any other way so hopefully you understand that so all right so what we're doing now is just doing a basic roughed out character you know just a typical standing pose um you know if you ever see the the character sheets that uh they're real popular in comics it's usually just a front a side and a back um I'm not going to do that on this particular one. Maybe we'll do that in the future. Um, this one will just be a single pose, and we'll go from here. I want to try to give him um, this little bit of a counter pose, one hand up, one hand down, so that if we decide to give him a gun, maybe we can incorporate that into the artwork. Uh, if he's standing here pretty basic, we can incorporate whatever needs to be in the shot, like uh, whether or not he maybe wears a cape or... Um, you know, he's maybe powers coming off the hand. Any of these will be an option with a basic shot like this. So, uh, so I didn't want to do too much of an action pose, and then maybe it eliminates something that we can incorporate into our design. This way, we'll get a nice full body shot. So, if we do some cool stuff with the outfit, um, you know, we'll be able to see that. So, the questions I need you guys to answer in this process is, you know, the look of the character. Um, some, uh, some ideas about the costume, um, what this character is all about, maybe even a little bit of backstory, you know, we don't want to, 
I guess the backstory can come with the, I always like to think of the powers first. And I don't know if that's um, necessarily the, the proper way to do it, but it's it's kind of the thing that I start with. Uh, I always think like, you know, okay, this character ends up having this magnificent power to do X, Y, Z, whatever. And then from there, I can generally start to get a feel for, okay, if this guy did have this type of power, what would happen in his life? You know, it's like if you picture somebody like Spider-Man, you know, he's, he ends up with this uh, amazing power when he's he's uh, very young. And so it affects, you know, obviously everything about his youth and, and going from being a nerd to uh, uh, more of a cool, confident person. But he has to almost suppress that uh, in his daily life a little bit because that's not who he was uh, last month or whatever. So you have to imagine how the effect of his power uh, changes him as a person. And that's part of the the thing that keeps the readers really enthused about those characters. Um, so, you know, just we have to think a little bit about that. But for now, we'll deal with, okay, what kind of power does he have? If he has powers at all, uh, he could be more of a Punisher type character or, you know, Batman or, or whatever. So we just have to figure out what type of character he is. Um, if he has these powers uh how does he use them uh are they focal out of his hands his eyes like cyclops you know so we just got to pinpoint all that down so i'm going to let you guys chime in in the comments section below and then i'll take it from there we'll obviously have to do some kind of rating system maybe if you guys could uh be sure to like the other comments that you see that are good ideas uh so brief through the other comments and be sure to click the like button That'll give me a, an idea for what you think is a good idea. I don't want to be the only mediator here to say, okay, all my um, all my ideas or what I read through the ideas are golden. Uh, let's try to all be part of that. So if you guys hit the like button there, I'll see, okay, uh, Joey Robot wrote 234, wrote that uh, it'd be cool if he had this power, and then five other people liked it or whatever. So I think that would be a, a nice way to interact and give us a better idea for what uh what the masses think is cool so to speak so all right so you see i'm just roughing out a basic pose having a little bit of trouble with the legs as i always do legs are always a pain for me but i'll get there and i want to give them a <clears throat> a little bit of a wider stance superhero-esque type stance a little shadow on the back leg there even though this leg doesn't look like it's much more forward than this one uh, that's what I'm saying about legs always being tricky. I always, you know, and I'll fix it as we progress through the artwork. Um, but the uh, the positioning of the legs, and the stance of them, uh, I still I still need some work on. And typically, the foot points with the knee, pretty much, I believe. Yeah, that's ugly. But yeah, we'll refine it as we go. So, Alright, and this hand for now, unless we decide that this is a gun-wielding cowboy of a character, then we'll, we'll change this hand. For now, we'll just make it a, a fist. Does he have ears? I don't know. Does he have... Pointed ears. Only time will tell. So yeah, this should be a lot of fun. I'm hoping so anyways. You know, I, I oftentimes when I do these videos, I don't know what... I'll be honest, I don't know what's going to work and what doesn't. Some videos I think will be decent. They end up doing well on here. And other videos I think are just going to be awesome. Kind of just fall flat. <laughs> so I, I really don't know, man. But that's where your guys' comments and your feedback really helps. Because um, I don't always know. I pretty much know that, um, you know, anything drawing superheroes uh, does well, but that's that's probably because what, that's what this channel is all about. But then uh, I never know what particular topic will do really well and which ones won't. But I think this should be fun and um, informational for all of us, you know, or educational, I should, should say. So there's our basic rough of the character. Now as I get more information, I'll refine it. There's really no point in refining the, the line work at this stage because we might have things that come back with the comments like, 
there's no point in drawing a face because he might be a masked character. Um, you know, I, I don't want to get too much into detailing any one area when we might have to change it. So there's our basic starting point, our rough character. Uh, from here, I just need you guys to start chiming in on the comments section below. Let me know what it is you think uh, would make for a cool superhero. And we'll, uh, we'll make this happen. So I'm interested to see what your comments are. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and uh, share the videos if you don't mind. And keep drawing, keep having fun, and we will talk to you soon.